Good morning. I noticed a number of people in the factoring section had trouble with factoring by grouping and then also when they got to reducing rational expressions to lowest terms, those that had some factoring by grouping problems, they had trouble with that too. So I thought I'd go over a few of those problems real quick. But look, I think uh, if, if the only kind of factoring you don't know how to do is factoring by grouping, I don't think you're going to have any trouble in college algebra. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. On the other hand, if you want to get it all straightened out for yourself and it's been you know a few days since you did that section, this would be a good time to watch this video. So let's do it real quick. I want to factor x squared plus 5ax plus 4x plus 20a. So I notice right away there's four terms, so I'm going to give this factoring by grouping a shot. So I just look at my first two terms, and I see that they have an x common to each term. So I factor that out. x times what's left is x plus 5a. Now I go to my second two terms, and I notice that they have a 4 common, so I factor that out. When I factor it out of this term, what's left is x. I factor it out of this term, what's left is 5a. And now I look and I see, well, x plus 5a is common to each term, so I'll factor that outside, x plus 5a. When I factor that from this term, what's left is x. And when I factor this from this term, what's left is 4. So you can see it's factored form right here, it's multiplication. It started out as addition and now it's multiplication, so we've succeeded in factoring. So the thing to realize is that even though this has two terms, x plus 5a, for any value of x and another value of a, that's just a single number. This is a single number right here. It appears here and it appears here. So I can take that single number, factor it out in front, and write down what's left when I factor it from each term. Next problem, let's look here and see, well, I've got an x common to the first two terms, so I'll take that outside. What's left is x plus a. And now I see I have x plus a right here. If I take a 5 out of this, I'm going to have negative x minus a. And what I want is x plus a, so instead of factoring out just 5, I'm going to factor out negative 5. When I factor negative 5 from this term, what's left is x. When I factor negative 5 from this term, what's left is a. And now I see that I have that single number, x plus a, common to this term and this term, so I factor it outside, x plus a, times what's left when I factor it from this term, which is x, and what's left when I factor it from this term, oops, almost made a mistake, minus 5. Okay, so... This factors to this, which factors to this. So there's my factored form. One more problem. Let's look here. First two terms have a y in common, so I'll take that out in front. What's left is a plus 4. Um, there, there isn't anything common to these two terms other than 1, but I see that that's a plus 4. So how would you feel if I wrote this as 1 times a plus 4? That doesn't change this at all, right? But it gives me the form that I've had in these other factoring by grouping problems. And now I see that a plus 4 is common to each term. So I'll factor it out. a plus 4 times what's left, which is going to be y plus 1. So there, I've factored this by grouping. And I've, this is just, maybe you want to just do this mentally. But a plus 4, even if you just put parentheses around it, you'll see that it looks like this. Put a 1 in front of it, that's no problem. And you can see that's why that one is left right there. Okay, here is a reduced to lowest terms, factoring by grouping problem with a rational expression. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'll take an x out of those two terms. What's left is a plus 3. I'll take a negative 3 out of those two terms. What's left is a plus 3. And in the denominator, I'm going to take a y out of those two terms. What's left is a plus 3. And then I'm going to take a negative 3 out of those two terms, and what's left is a plus 3. Now, it's not time to do any dividing yet, because I can only divide out common factors. I can't divide out terms. So I have to continue to factor now. a plus 3 is common to this term and this term. I'll take it out in front. a plus 3 times what's left, x minus 3. a plus 3 is common to these two terms, so I'll take it out in front a plus 3, and I'll write down what's left, y minus 3. Now I can divide out common factors because it's multiplication here, so I know this number and this number are multiplied together. They're each factors of this numerator, same with the denominator. 
So I'll divide out the common factor, a plus 3, and get x minus 3 divided by y minus 3. And that's the answer. Now, don't weaken and try to divide those 3's out. They're not factors. They're terms. That's a term of x and a term of 3. Term of y and a term of 3. Terms don't divide out, only common factors. Okay, so if you had a little trouble with factoring by grouping, I hope this clears it up for you.